Hello everyone, this is Don Anders. And over the next few videos that we do, we're going to talk about the five needs of money in retirement. If you've watched our videos for a long time, you've probably heard of this, but it's been a while since we've done a video series. So we're going to get into that, the five needs of money. And in this video, we're specifically going to talk about the first need of money, which is income. Okay, so what are the five needs of money in retirement? Uh, I'll tell you the story of how I created it. So um, I've been I've been doing retirement planning for a while. I think this was back in 2010. Uh, I was at the end of a long day and I was meeting with people who were exiting from the Florida Retirement System Drop Program. If you don't know what that is, um, it's part of the FRS. It's, it's kind of what we do every day. But there were, it was, I was meeting with somebody who was exiting drop and it was my fifth appointment of the day. Everyone is exiting drop. And what I've always done is I say, okay, well, what are your goals? What are your needs for this money? And let me give you some advice. And then for the fifth time that day, I got the exact same answer. It was, I don't know. I don't even know what the needs are. That's interesting. Most people said, I don't know, but she said, I don't even know what the needs are. So I was like, okay, well, let's let's brainstorm. And I went up to my whiteboard. I said, okay, well, the first one is income, right? Making sure you have income. Uh, the second one would be making sure that your money is safe. Uh, third one would be making sure that your money is growing. Uh, fourth one would be making sure your money is liquid. And then the fifth would be leaving money to beneficiaries. And I thought, I was like, is there, is there anything else? Well, there's long-term care, but that kind of falls into income. No, that's pretty much the five needs. And what I had her do is I said, okay, well, out of these five needs, liquidity, safety, growth, uh, income, and death benefit, out of those five, what are the most important ones to you? And she said, okay, well, the most important thing is I want my money to be safe. And, and then from there, we put together a, you know, what she needed and then figured out the best investments for her. And ever since then, if clients don't really know what they need or, or, or you know what their goals are, we've done that exercise to help them figure it out. So start off, we're gonna do five videos all on the five needs of money, okay? This very first one, we're gonna go over income because in my opinion, it is the most important one in retirement. If you don't have enough income to live, nothing else matters, right? Because uh, you're gonna run out of money and it, it's none of the rest of it matters. So income is number one. And then all the rest of them come in. But for some of you, a lot of you, if you are part of the Florida retirement system, between 30, 35 years of service, uh, social security, investments, you might be making more money than you're making now, or at least enough. Uh, so income isn't always the most important for everyone, but it is the most important if you don't have enough of it, okay? So, but what you can do, what I recommend doing is watch the five videos, and then sit down and go over, and sit down and list them out, income, safety, growth, death benefit, liquidity. List them all out, and then after you watch and I explain it, list out which ones are the most important to you. Number one is, you know, whatever it might be for you. And if you're married, have your spouse do it separately, right? Have your spouse do it separately, compare them, and then do it together, all right? So that's how you do it. We're, I'll go explain that again at the end of the, the last video, but let's get into income. Let's get into what it means uh, for income as a need. Well, there's a few different types of income. The first type of income is guaranteed lifetime income. Now, if you're part of the Florida retirement system, then you have a pension, which is guaranteed lifetime income. You have social security probably. Most of you watching this have social security, which is guaranteed lifetime income. Some people think it might go away. I would say if you're pretty close to retirement, you're getting social security for your life. Um, so those are guaranteed. What else could be guaranteed lifetime income? Well, you could have uh, an annuity. A lot of people use annuities for guaranteed lifetime income. But what I recommend as far as guaranteed lifetime income, if there's a set amount of bills that you need for the rest of your life, right? If there's a set amount of money that you need for the rest of your life to just scrape by, 
whether that's to pay a mortgage if you still have a mortgage or whether that's to pay for electricity and water and gas and groceries and whatever else it might be or just a lifestyle right if, if your lifestyle is i need six thousand dollars a month after taxes or else i'm going to starve make that your guaranteed income and if you have enough between pension and social security great if you don't then you might want to consider an annuity or something else to make sure that at least the very least that income is met for the rest of your life. And then everything else is where you can do the five needs of money there. The other type of income would be what, what's called discretionary income. So, um, you know, income where, okay, well, you know, this year we might take a trip to Europe or the Alaskan cruise like we like to talk about. Or what happens if our if a hurricane comes through and we need to new, put a new roof on? Or, I mean, today in Florida, right, the the, the cost of insurance... Uh, homeowners insurance is going through the roof. Uh, so what happens if I, you know, we need to have some extra income to pay for insurance premiums, whatever it might be. Um, or, you know, my, our, our kids are getting married or grandkids are getting married. We want to, so that extra income that, that you don't need guaranteed every year, but you want it to be discretionary in case you need it that's where you might use dividend paying stocks. That's where you might use CDs, fixed accounts, money markets, those types of things. But that's not quite guaranteed, right? Um, so it just depends on what you need. Or some of you might just say, you know what? I want some mad money. You know, I, I yeah, my bills come to $4,000 a month, but I'd like an extra 2000 you know, just to, so we can travel, just so we can have fun or an extra 1500 or whatever it might be that would be more discretionary. And with those, you can have accounts where it fluctuates. Now, why wouldn't you want to use the discretionary types of vehicles, dividend paying stocks or CDs or money markets or whatever else? Why wouldn't you want to use that for the guaranteed income portion? Because the rates can fluctuate, right? Just because an account has historically paid a 5% dividend doesn't necessarily mean it will moving forward. And if you don't have enough income to pay your rent, we have an issue in your retirement plan, okay? So for a lot of you watching this video, again, your income is covered, but if you want more, then income would be very, very important, okay? So that's the first of the five needs of money. In the next video, we're going to talk about the second need of money, which is safety. Uh, so tune into that video. We're going to go ahead and link it up above as soon as it's posted. If you're watching this right away, it might not be posted yet. But we're going to go ahead and link it up above. If you would like to do one of the five needs of money with one of our financial advisors, we're going to put a link down in the calendar in the uh, notes below. Feel free to schedule an appointment if you would like to do that with the help, a complimentary appointment with the help of one of our financial advisors that can sit down and go over that with you. Um, but if not, Stay tuned for that next video. We're going to talk about safety there.